Hello, Akra here, and welcome back to the channel. A couple of weeks ago, I released a video on Lord Tweed's Fire Emblem Roguelike, Embrace of the Fog, which I highly recommend. The Lex Talionis engine, hereafter referred to as LT, is really cool and allows for lots of cool things. Still, the different engine from the standard ROM hack fair means that the installation process is also different. This is especially the case if you want to play an LT game that's still in development, and it seems the most convenient way for both game creators and players with the requisite knowledge to interact with the files is via GitHub, rather than a single time executable download. Keywords are, of course, players with the requisite knowledge. Installing Embrace the Fog was the first time that I had pulled a game from GitHub myself. I'm very glad that I did, as the Git version has two key advantages. You get to use additional characters and try out new features before they become more widely accessible in the EXE version, and updating to new builds of the Git version is far less time consuming and involved than updating the EXE builds would be. So, since Lex Talionis is still niche within FE fan game spaces, and I'd like more people to be able to check out this great game in its most developed form, I figured that I would make a video detailing the steps of said installation. In terms of disclaimers, the instructions presented in this video are collated and pared down from the necessary installs for Windows page on the LT wiki, and Lord Tweed's own specific instructions on how to install the Git version of Embrace the Fog in the Lex Talionis Discord server. I have linked both of these in the video description. As a result, the full instructions of this video are only strictly applicable for installing the Git version of Embrace the Fog on a Windows machine. While some steps likely remain similar for other LT games, and potentially for other operating systems, the scope of this video is strictly defined. If people tell me in the comments that they would find it helpful, I may eventually make a video for the standard LT engine rather than Lord Tweeds. Additionally, if you do have problems installing everything after following all the steps in this video, you are more likely to receive helpful, timely replies in the Lex Talionis Discord server rather than by commenting below. Anyway, that's far more than enough preamble, so without further ado, let's get into the guide. First off, we need to install all the necessary prerequisites. For this, we can largely follow the instructions from the Lex Talionis wiki. Still, any links you need will be in the video description or on screen. Starting off, let's install git from the git-scm link using the standard installer. Click on the installer and accept the public license. When selecting which components to install, the defaults are fine, though you may want to disable the scaler option, as it is not needed. Next, you need to set your text editor. Mine sets Sublime Text, which is a lightweight text editor and is also recommended by the wiki. All other settings can be left on their defaults unless you have a good reason not to. You probably don't. Then we need to install Python. So go to the Python v3.11.7 installation webpage, scroll to the bottom for the files section, and use the relevant installer for your system. Click on the installer once it downloads. You only need to change one setting from the defaults, which is to click here to add python.exe to path. Now that both Git and Python are installed, navigate to where you'd like the engine to live. If you right click and go to show more options if it's there, there should be the option to open git bash. Here type in git clone https colon slash slash gitlab.com slash capital L lord capital T tweed slash lt dash maker dot git. This may take a while. Once that's done, go into the LT Maker folder and open another git bash window. Type git fetch origin, followed by git checkout dash b capital E O T F underscore capital B branch space origin slash capital E O T F underscore capital B branch. What this does is fully set up Lord Tweed's version of the LT engine which is needed to play Embrace of the Fog. Here, also make sure to install additional requirements by entering pip install-r requirements underscore editor dot txt. Now everything needed to run the game should be installed. Now go to a different file location and open another git bash window to download the game's files using the command git clone https colon slash slash gitlab.com slash capital L lord capital T tweed slash tweeds no apostrophe underscore roguelite dot git. 
What this should mean now is that if you go back inside the LT Maker folder and double click run editor.py, then select the gacha game.lt proj folder inside of the tweeds roguelite folder you just downloaded, after maybe a minute or two, the game should be open in the editor. Go to the play button and choose to test full game, and there you have it. You too can embrace the most recent version of the fog. So yeah, that's how you install Git version. In terms of transferring across save data from the exe version to the Git version, if applicable, go into the exe saves folder and copy across EOTF underscore persistent underscore rep calls dot p to the git version saves folder. This makes retaining your progress very easy. Lastly, while any updates made to the game are communicated in the git version testing thread for embrace of the fog in the LT server, it's good practice to update your files regularly. To do this, first open git bash inside of the LT maker folder and enter the command git pull. Then navigate to the tweeds roguelite folder and open a bash window there, and enter git reset dash dash hard, enter, followed by git pull. Now you've updated both the engine and the game files to their newest versions, without having to move save files across again. If you have a run in progress, you may want to avoid updating your files until you finished it, as loading your game may lead to a crash. If you've already updated though, just selecting a new game should resolve any issues. That's about everything, about how to install everything for Embrace of the Fog, transfer across any existing save data you have, and perform updates. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed feels like the wrong word. Hopefully it's been clear, and means that if you weren't able to before, you're now able to access this excellent Fire Emblem fan game and roguelite. If you'd like an installation guide for the standard engine, please do let me know in the comments below, though it will be incredibly similar. Lamau. Anyway, thanks again, and I hope to see you again next time. Until then, have a good one.